storms are no surprise in this area. We usually worry about lightning causing wildfires, but it can be dangerous for people if you're anywhere around and not just in the places where you can see. Lightning can strike anywhere. I mean, it all happens so fast. Even if you're not directly outside. I had sort of an indirect lightning strike, but it, it felt direct. That's what happened to Liz Fulton 20 years ago in her Billings home on Gregory Drive. Lightning struck the tree right in my front yard, just a few feet from the front porch. When she went to flip on her porch light to coax her cat inside. So when lightning came down through the tree, it arced back through me into the house through the switch. The impact from that strike threw her against a wall. And I kind of jumped up off the floor thinking that I would be missing an arm because that was the sensation I had was this hot, extreme heat coming through my arm. And I looked down and I was thought, well, I'm okay. Thankfully, Liz lived to tell the tale, but it's one that's more common than you think. On average, there's about 27 fatalities per year nationally due to lightning. Billings National Weather Service meteorologist John Wettenkamp says that nearly 200 injuries are reported yearly because of lightning strikes. It's important to know that if you can hear thunder, though, the thunderstorm is close enough to produce lightning that can strike you. The safest place to be in a thunderstorm is inside a building or a hardtop vehicle with the windows up, as long as you're mindful. Lightning can travel through um, any metal objects or, or wires and, and get, in, get into a home that way. So yeah, you wouldn't want to be using any uh, appliances at that time. A life lesson that Liz luckily survived. You never quite lose that or forget what that sounded like and felt like and looked like that night. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.